Hey YouTube, this is a video to kind of kind of give a visual representation of uh, possible what I believe to have possibly have been an uh, an attempted assault or maybe even a home invasion. Now I have to give you a little bit of background story before before we uh before we uh, go into the story. Okay. That oak tree that you see there to the left of your screen, that is a uh, that tree was actually still standing, and it wasn't uncommon for limbs to fall out of that oak tree, tree and hit the house and make a noise. So okay, let's let's get started with the story. Okay, um. You're on a tripod, by the way. This house, when that tree fell, it destroyed it. But uh, I was coming out of the bathroom, which the bathroom actually took the worst of the damage. But anyway, I was coming out of the bathroom, and I was in the hallway when I heard when I heard a noise that sounded like, and I was like, what? And I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's just a tree limbs fell fell out of fell out of the oak tree and hit the house. When we lived here, we had crap, we had crap all in front of these windows. Those windows was covered, and my only option was to go to the door, which by the way has been removed now and sent to the scrap yard. And, you know, those old mobile home doors, they always got that goofy little plastic yellow window in them. Well, mine was a goofy plastic yellow plastic. I, I saw light coming through that, <clears throat> through that, that wasn't, that didn't seem right for the uh, street light. So I was like, okay, there's somebody out there. <clears throat> I said, who is it? Whoever was there didn't answer. Okay, who is it again? They didn't answer. So at that point, you know, I'm getting leery and I'm backing off, backing away from the door because, you know, with my lights on in here, they could tell that I was standing right in front of the door through that, see my shadow through that glass. Okay. At this point, I'm like, okay, my dad's in here, in here. And he's back there in his bed and... <clears throat> I know how kind of, well, best best way to describe it is I know how nosy he can be. So I head back down the hallway here, and well, we're not stepping, going all the way down there and step over them holes, but uh, I stop at his door and I was like, "Hey, pops, uh, wake up!" Now look, there's somebody out here at the door, and they're not they're not saying who they are or what they want. I need you to wake up and stay back here and stay out of sight. So at this point, I'm done gotten really freaking nervous because I don't know what's fixing to happen. You know, I don't know if they're going to try to just come on in. So I ran, ran through the house. I ran here into my bedroom, which it's already, my room's been cleaned out as well now. Well, there's something behind the door. But anyway, my bed was right here by the window. I I run over here and I had a old microwave cart right here in front of this window that I used kind of like a catch-all and a nightstand. And I always kept the drawer open and open and I kept my pistol laying in there so I'd always have easy access to it. And <clears throat> we're not talking about the put the we're not talking about the Beretta 92. This happened before I bought the Beretta 92. At the time, I still had my H&R uh, 32 Magnum revolver. So I grab it, and it's out of the case too. And I run back to the door, door, and then. <clears throat> I'm running back to the door, and I'm standing there right behind the door door with this gun caught, loaded and cocked, 
And I again I ask, who is it? And then they all uh, the person goes, Is your name Young Blood? And my name's not Young Blood. And I went no and I said my I said my name, which for the sake of this video y'all just gonna have to have to imagine my name being being whatever you want it to be. So <clears throat> At this point, you know, I'm calmed down a little bit. I'm like, okay, this kid's here, here, got the wrong address for some reason. So, I open the door and and step into step in the door, and the kid has moved from in front of my door door to right here where my firewood was stacked well right well y'all that right exactly in the spot where that wood rack that i built built my wood was stacked on it it and matter of fact it's the exact same wood rack that i built in a youtube video i actually forgot about that he was standing we had more wood he was standing right about here behind some more wood that we had stacked on it. And that kid had something in his hand. I don't know what it was. I want to hope it was just a piece of my firewood, firewood, but it could have been something like a little short, some, some, some little short sawed off shotgun. It could have been, could have been some other short gun or it could have been a large knife. I don't know. At, this point when i see the kids got something in his hand hand i really i pointed my gun right at him at him at that point the kid just turns and starts running back towards his car which by the way his car let's see i don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it or not but that see that transformer on top of that light pole at the time there was a a street light there on the little pole to the left of it which is a little bit shorter anyway the kid had parked his car way out there under the street light now that's over 150 feet from my house you know and at the time it was really really dark down here because I didn't have a porch light and even if I did I wouldn't have used it used it because you know I don't want people coming around it just causes me problems so anyway that kid ran to his car and as he's running off I said don't you ever come back and the kid just ran to his car got in his car and he got out of here pretty quick and that ended it but you know I was a fool for fool for opening the door I never should have opened it you know I should have just kind of let things play out like they were gonna play out you know but anyway after this incident incident I uh, called up my buddy uh, GC which he'll know he'll know he'll when he if he watches this video he'll know who he is anyway and he used his computer to to search the name young blood and we determined that the nearest young bloods are about 20 miles away so i don't know if that kid was intending on intending on breaking you know knocking me out with whatever he had in his hand and coming in my house <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because he got somebody sent him to this address and he came to do somebody some harm. I don't know. But anyway, that's my story. That's my story that I, you know, I kind of ain't really, I've, ne I've never, I've told it to some people in YouTube comments before, but I've never made a video on it and I honestly hadn't hadn't really planned to ever make a make a YouTube video for this, but I did. So that's my story, and uh, 
get in if y'all anybody watches this get in the comments and let me know what y'all think could it could have happened all right good night youtube well yeah well good good night y'all have a have a good day and i would appreciate it if y'all would like subscribe and comment all right bye bye youtube y'all have a good day